Okay, welcome back to Model 6, and now we're in Lecture 6, Understanding the Residual. So this is linked to the previous lecture, and actually linked to everything. So let's see what happened with these residuals. So basically, okay, before talking about uh, residuals, and I mentioned this in, in the previous lecture, Lecture 5, so on steady steady solvers, let, let, let us clarify something. You know? When we talk about iterations, okay, on, on a steady simulation, we're talking about the time step or outer iterations, okay? So to arrive to this time, we iterate this many times. And, okay, and we iterate inside each time step or outer iterations until reaching the linear solver's tolerance or maximum number of iterations, okay? So see that each of these iterations, you are doing this many iterations, okay? So here you see, you go from time, to let's say inner loop, inner iterations, outer iterations. Okay, so this is for on steady simulations. And let's talk a, about uh, the residuals. But you usually see these people that honestly, I don't recommend you to rely on the residuals to assess your solution. Okay, the accuracy of your solution because they can be very misleading. And the clear example is the cylinder case. That in one point you see that they go up, and many people may interpret that as a divergence. And it's not divergent, it's just a truly honest steady behavior. So what you have here and what, when you are plotting that, you what you see is the initial residual. So remember that this is an iterative method and the iterative method, you need an initial guess. So your initial residuals are your initial guess and then the linear solver is going to iterate until reaching your final residual. So remember that you can set up a, an actual tolerance. So the linear solver will iterate until reaching this, this residual. So what is happening is that you start here, initial guess, iterate, and when you reach this one, you stop, and then you move to the next time step. In the next time step, you start to iterate. You have an initial guess. What is your initial guess? Your initial guess is your previous time step. And you start to iterate, you reach this tolerance, start, move to the next time step. Okay, so that is what is happening. So usually, in this behavior, you will see that your residuals, you are not going to reach your final tolerance. It usually happens in, during the initial iterations. That is a, a normal behavior, okay? So because we know that we're far from that final solution or that solution, so it's difficult to reach, but then you let it run and after a few iterations, you should reach that final tolerance, okay? And then when you reach that final tolerance, just move the time step like this, okay? So is this initial residuals, you're clearly probably you understand better here, is this re initial residuals, okay, they reach the final tolerance means that you have reached an steady solution. Why? Because your previous iteration is the same as the current one. So there is no need to iterate, this is a steady solution and you can stop. That doesn't happen very often, okay? So basically you start Iteration zero, the, pre, the initial guess, and then you iterate, you reach your final iteration when you reach that initial tolerance, and then you move. In this process, no, you, you, you compute uh, the, the, the tolerances, the residuals like this, okay? And that is always monitored by open phone, okay? <clears throat> So here you have the, the typical behaviors for on a steady solution, okay? So the residuals are like this, and then you have the onset. So this is normal, okay? And see that the, what is happening here is that your initial guess is, is far from your, your, your final the get a solution of that time step. So you have that different, but you will always reach your final residual. So see that initial guess, final residuals. You always reach this one. Okay, and if your initial residuals, they are the same as the final, in that case, you can say that you have reached an steady solution like in here. Okay, so see here that you have initial residuals and you're setting here a tolerance to stop. So see that usually your initial residuals, they reach a tolerance about 10 to the minus four. You can say that that is an steady solution. Okay, but also you can put the same tolerance as the final residuals. And if you let it in this case, you will reach it. Okay, but usually 10 to the minus four. It, 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 it's acceptable. But you have also to be careful because so see here that at the beginning, it appears that it's going to reach 10 to the minus four and then you have that on set. So also be careful about that. But instead of looking at these residuals that as you see can be a little bit misleading is you don't know how to interpret this one. It's better look at quantity of interest. Okay, so usually monitor pressure or mass flow or some integral quantity in your domain. And this is a better indication of unsteadiness or steadiness of your solution, okay? And we compare here 
the residuals okay here we have initial and final residual for on a steady simulation and steady simulation so see that always the final residual so see that for pressure here we're setting the final residual 10 to the minus 6 and for the other variables 10 to the minus 8 you always the linear solvers always reach those residuals or at least you have to be careful they they do reach the final residuals because that is indicated that indicating that you have a well converged no solution if they are not reaching, reaching that be careful but see that your final residuals always reach this one and your initials you're going to have this behavior so when we when we use python plot washer or you the residual function object this is what you are plotting initial residuals and when you have an steady case see that you are going to reach so see that here you are reaching tolerances in the order of 10 to the minus 22 minus 11 so you are going well above that that much in precision okay so this is tell, telling you that basically you you, you have a well convert solution and a steady solution okay so see that here 10 to the minus 8 already something about now six thousand iterations you you have it okay and then here they remain stalled by the way they remain here stalled because you are fixing that tolerance so see that you start here you reach the tolerance 10 to the minus 6 and remain stalled but remain stalled is just telling you when you check your dictionary you are reaching this value there is no need to go below all oh, lower values because you are setting that so as you reach this one then you see that here that now i reduce now you are going to go to that one okay so be careful about that that is you see this in the steady simulations that they are stalled because you have reached that okay so this is not a wrong behavior and is you monitor your quantity of interest this is what you have on a steady simulation you're going to see the, the behaviors the the <coughs> the honest uh, the unsteadiness the oscillations and in the steady solutions okay the quantities that you are monitoring your quantity of interest they should stay flat flat okay they shouldn't oscillate or, or if they oscillate it should be very small oscillations okay for a truly steady simulation remember that if you run a steady solver in a, in a steady physics you are going to see some oscillations but is not the right physics okay so that's all about understanding your residuals okay so my best advice do not rely 100 percent on your residuals monitor a quantity of interest okay because it's not you are not familiar with this they, this can be very misleading okay so that's all for this model thank you very much for attention see you next time bye